Okay, so we're back with another devlog and we're still working on the active applet indicator as I still think it's worth improving. And I, well, we eventually decided to keep it on top, but we've also added a very light separator line between the applet and the panel like this. So it's a bit more clear that this active application is uh, on the edge of the panel, even with an applet that's opened up. So it's almost perfect. It works pretty much everywhere. There are a few like, I think I should make this one a bit bigger. This one also, yeah, I should also add some negative margins to the left and to the right, but except that the only main issue is that it simply doesn't work on system tray, which is, I mean, a big issue. <laughs> so why isn't it working? Well, that's a big question. Sorry, mic drop. And the simple answer is that the system tray is very weird. It's not a normal haplet. It's a container of smaller haplets. However, I thought that it would still be inside of a container and thus be able to read the panel margin. So what I do here is basically I start with the root item of the compact applet and then I loop over the parents until I find the container and then use that one to put some negative space. However, my best guess after think about thinking a bit about it is that the system tray actually doesn't use this code at all. I think it's completely custom. So we need to implement this in the system tray itself. So let's go give a look to the system tray, which is let's start guessing applets it's, uh, it's different repository, Plasma Workspace, Applets, System Tray. Okay, so let's see what branch we're in. It's master. Let's git pull just for sure. And let's open up System Tray. Where is it? System Tray code, the package in this case, UI, the main UI. Let's open it up. And let's look for where it throws the frame SVG item for the widgets tab bar. So let's search for this one. Sorry. Not in this file. And uh, I remember that there was a comment in one of my videos suggesting me how to actually search properly within the content of the files, but I forgot. So let's use a very simple key find which does this. So content I'm searching for widgets tab bar and it's in current item highlight. So let's open it up, this one. And um, if we decided to, I don't know, put something useless inside of this, just to make sure we've picked the right component, then we can go into Plasma workspace, recompile it. Okay. So let's source the prefix and restart Plasma shell. This thing that I say you restart and then write replace always confuses me a bit. Okay. And we can see that there's no more highlight even for the system tree global. So, okay, we found the right element. It is indeed this one. We just need to make it expand. So easiest way is to just copy paste the code. And of course the negative side is that redundant code, copy pasted code is always bad on the long term will create some bugs, but in here I think it's just the best solution because I don't see any easy way to 
share the values from the compact applet to the system tray. So I think I'll just go for a simple copy paste. So let's pick this one and put it in here. I've also learned since last time that you can make Kate remove trailing white spaces on save, which is super cool. Like I didn't know about this feature and I love it already. So thank you so much to the person that pointed that out. And now that we've done this, we just need to copy paste the anchors code like this. And that should actually be enough, like just this. We'll also need to copy paste the code that actually draws the line, but where is it? This one. But again, that's more obvious, like if you're drawing a line two times, then you need to draw it two times. So it's obvious, it's more clear that you have to copy paste that part of the code. So let's see if the, uh, if the anchor stuff works. There's nothing else going on, right? Not even layout um, positioning, no. What about current HTML highlight? Where is this file? Sorry, this element use current item highlight. It's used in main current item highlight. We've got, oh, this is interesting. Location is, okay, what is location used for? Switch location, okay, makes sense to decide where to draw the line. Parent is root, it's probably reparented based on uh, where it's used. Opacity is system tree state expand. Okay, makes sense. Should work. Let's try this out. Uh, let's uh, make install. Should be pretty simple. I was thinking that it should be enough to actually go in the system tree folder and make install just that one because everything else I didn't change. So let's actually do it now. It's up. Let's search um, system tray, tray, sorry. This should be faster and just as, um, just as nice. Let's, uh, let's replace plasma shell and see, whoa. Okay, let's see if it worked. Mm, seems like it didn't. The line is still drawn too close to the applet. So what went wrong? Ah, I know what went wrong. Dump me. There's no such thing as root. We need to start from current item highlight like this and then this, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yes, everything else is fine. So let's make install. And then restart the Plasma Shell. Let's see if making install the system tray folder just is enough. And still not working. Uh, very annoying. Let's start putting some console logs here. Uh, let's put some, hello, this is system tree speaking. Like this. Let's make install and replace. Hello, is this is system tree speaking, nice. And now let's see if there's any value at all. I did not find any useful value. So we can see if it worked. Uh, 
Hello, this is System Tree speaking. However, okay, so this is weird. The first time it does not find the uh, values, but after that it does. So let's actually output the value that it finds. So item layout um, top margin and then bottom margin just like that should be enough okay let's go for it sorry here and then let's replace plasma shell okay we are not getting oh error cannot read property top margin of undefined that's very bad how is layout undefined if we found is applet container didn't couldn't we as assume that his applet container also has a layout property so let's actually try to log this value instead and see if it's actually what we expect which is true of course should be obviously be true but let's check okay it is true however it lacks a layout property very 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 weird okay so let's get let's go fetch the um, that part of the code which is not this one uh, it's in the containment uh, it's this one is applet container true and then layout and we have these four properties and it's impossible for these properties it's impossible for layout to be undefined. We do define it, I'm pretty sure. So what's going on? Top, bottom, left and right. Let's try to output the layout item. At this point should be undefined according to what we've seen before which is very weird okay true undefined why is my layout undefined this is crazy let's see out seriously how is it undefined what if I had another property here uh, property string test hello world and what if I try to read that one of course, I need to recompile Plasma Desktop as well. So, test, item test. And let's recompile both of them. So, make install here. And also, here. Okay, let's go for it. True undefined hello world. Hello world, sorry, hello world is working, but layout is not. However, we can do some magic tricks 
because I have defined get margins here. So we can actually use this function instead of the layout anyway it's the same like top margin is get margin top so let's try to see if get margins is defined defined so let's go for get margins should be a function if it's working i don't know what javascript's outputs when it sees a functions True undefined and what? How did we go from true undefined hello world to true undefined undefined? I mean test ah because I removed did I remove test? Yes, I took it off. Okay, but I didn't recompile. Ah yes, I recompiled Plasma desktop and not Plasma workspace. Okay. Um, system tray okay so let's see if the function is actually it's actually seen and it is function get margins native code okay thank you good try good try so let's actually use that one so we can return item get margins and instead of bottom margins we can do um, bottom top left and right however just to be sure let's also log the top margin from here just to see if it's working maybe it returns zero for for some reason I mean it's always good to check what you're doing and then that's pretty much it is it yes it's it's not a layout object anymore we need to change the name but that can come later so let's make install and uh, replace okay it's outputting 8 which is very good and wow works very nice almost works almost okay so for some reason we broke it for Okay, so if I click on an applet, it will show it for everything, which is very wrong. And I think I need to take off the, where is it? Uh, fill parent. This was not supposed to be there. Let's uh, make install. Yeah, that one was probably off. Let's see. Eh, broken. Okay, how is this element positioned exactly? Uh, seriously, how do we update? What's this? Update highlight. Okay change highlighted item which okay so it's manual manually changing the width and height okay so we need to work here so let's copy paste this one and then the x is going to be minus the top margin this is going to be a mess to implement with all four sides let's do it for the bottom first plus bottom margin plus top okay like this and of course we just take off this let's see 
Let's go for it. Ah, uh, we can also take off the, where is it? This, this thing, we know it's eight now, so no need for that one. Okay, uh, it was Y, of course, it was not X. How did I get that wrong? <laughs> okay, like this, and of course it's not the width, but it's the height. Okay. Very nice. Now we're speaking. Very nice. Okay, now we need to actually implement um, the line. Well, we should implement it for all sides first. <sighs> okay, let's do it. So, plasma core types, left edge. We can go with uh, highlight item plus this one goes uh, here and this is only to be added if it's a horizontal panel. So if plasma core, if location is, where is it, top edge or uh, let me check one second. Plasma core types. Where is it? Plasma core top edge. What if there's a cleaner way to do it? Maybe there's a horizontal uh, top edge. Okay, so it's floating equals zero. Desktop full screen top edge, bottom edge, left edge, right edge edge okay there's no way to okay no there's no way to simplify it i need to write it as is so it's location equals top edge or location equals i mean technically i could write location uh, i mean let's do it location and plasma core top edge or bottom edge like this otherwise zero this is way too long for a line let's split it uh, somehow where do we split this here I don't like it. Let's go for uh, because we need it for the width as well now. Of course, swapping the two like this. Of course, left and right like this. Okay. And now we get something a bit more complex here. You know what? Let's just go for something that's way easier to read. Let's just use a switch. I mean, come on. Why do we have to make uh, our life that much harder? I know it could be wrote in a easier way, but a switch is just fine. So if it's left, then uh, let's take this one off. Okay, like this. 
and what uh, I should also check uh, case uh, location default and I should also check if 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 this element actually exists the yeah then do the switch otherwise it makes no sense to even try to do it and if it's left okay if it's bottom here then we need to in, uh, decrease the y like this and increase the height much cleaner and then almost the same for this one except it's top in this case it's x I mean it's uh, it's plus here is it no it's still minus in this case x minus left plus left right and bits width and in this case it's right is it no it's left if it's right edge then minus the left epsilon minus the top one okay it's always top and it's always left is it Is it why is there no break here? Sorry, but ah yes, I forgot to break. Okay, so it's is this correct? Right edge, you took off left margin, left edge still left margin. Okay, so yeah, it makes sense, but um. This is the same as this one, and this is the same as this one, so we can actually just do like this. I think <laughs> I never used switch cases, so I might just be wrong, awfully wrong. Do we need a default case? Uh, yeah, let's put a default here. I think you're supposed to use switch cases like this with pull through. That's check just for sure javascript switch case fall through i'm a python coder and python doesn't have a switch case so <laughs> i'm authorized to not know about the exact okay so yes it is like i was saying nice okay let's try this out ah this one is obviously not needed anymore let's try this out okay works for oh Oh, come on. Where did you go? Okay, so it works for the first one, but it breaks after that with no error. But why? Why are you doing this to me? This is very weird. With height if blah 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 blah. I don't see anything wrong. And there's no error either in the console. What's up?
it's not like it completely disappears because it goes up why is it going up what's b b equals parent map from item highlighted item let's do this this is going to look weird but I th let me explain why I decided to do it so my impression is that I'm actually making the highlight to go up every time so let's go if I can make it move down which would actually be visible so like this and you can see that it moves down each time okay so that's the problem it doesn't disappear it just moves up which shouldn't happen because I thought that Y was reset every time with this P what's going on P parent map from item so I actually only need to apply the margin one time change highlight okay so it's parent map from item okay let's try to go here and uh, hmm. this ain't easy how do I make sure it's applied just one time maybe I could apply it on load I don't like that solution though how do map from item works uh, parent what's parent uh, it's uh, this one now it's the parent of this element which is root interesting map from global stuff map from item and we are giving what are we giving where is it where is it an item and two coordinates so here maps the point x y or rect uh, which is the blah 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 okay interesting cool stuff okay so it gives me the delta in position compared to that item can't I just This is very weird, honestly. <laughs> Can't I just... Do this. I don't know. I need 
to take a pen and make some write some stuff down because I'm really confused on what this should be what this should achieve like seriously I don't get it okay um, wrong direction Okay, let's see, like this, okay, okay, it's here instead of here, so not the right direction either. <laughs> um, so it is plus the first time. But then, but then it's it adds up. I'm very confused. But I mean, why are we even changing the Y? Ah, yes, you could use a grid of system. Let's actually switch to a grid for a second. So how do you switch to a grid again? Uh, like this. Hmm. Didn't work. Hey. Hey, how do you switch to a grid? Okay, now it works. Okay, a smaller panel, please. This is just okay. 68 is the required panel height to use a grid. Come on. How would anybody use a 68 pixels? high panel horrible okay so let's get back to working stuff uh, okay This is what happens when you mess with absolute positioning instead of using layouts and anchors. But no, I'm not going to port this thing to an anchor, nor to a layout. Let's keep it as is must as much as possible. So Okay, so give me the coordinates of this element compared to the one of the parent, assuming zero and zero. Where the parent is hopefully the root. 
Then why do we have this problem of... Changing X and Y? I really don't get it. Okay, so I was wondering. We should only do this one time. So, on the first appearance. And the first appearance is when you didn't have any highlighted item here. So, we should check whether... Why are we defining a new variable? Why are we giving highlighted highlighted item the value of next item? It doesn't make sense. We can just use next item. And then this allows us to do and there's no highlighted item yet. Because after this function runs, the next item is becoming a highlighted item, but this is after that. So let's try if this works better. However, there's also another issue, which is... Oh, current item I light. Okay, so 162 required 162 what did I mess up okay better and what else did I okay so I need to like do this because highlighted item is a global variable okay i mean it's the same i just change it after calculating the x and y instead of before let's see if it works hello okay okay so it now it works Oh, yeah, now it just doesn't work. Come on! It works the first time you click it. And then it doesn't. But why? <laughs> why on heart? This makes no sense at all. Okay, so let's try to make... It means that the problem is not coming from map from item, but from here, apparently. I don't know. But why are you doing this to me? Okay. Ah, uh, wait, I think I got it. It's not about this. The is 
the issue issue is not here the issue is the difference in coordinates this map from item is a mess to use I mean it, it probably does its job fine but arg seriously let's go back to the documentation maps the point x y or rect blah 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 which is in items coordinate system to this item coordinate system and returns blah 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 so we are mapping zero zero from next item to parent okay and what's the problem with highlight not being aligned this is one of the weirdest bugs I've ever seen because it's it looks so easy yet so annoying 226 32 26 226 okay so this is correct py is always 26 as should be so what's Where does it become from 26 to 10 between year and year? What's going on? Let's do this. I hate bugs. They are so annoying and very disrespectful. Okay, so it is 26 and then becomes 18 because of the margin. Correct. But when I switch to this one, it is 26, but then suddenly becomes 18. But why? It I mean, p dot y is 26. I do y equals p dot y, and then y is 18. How? Do we have some behavior on y? No if we had some on y changed it would make sense but this is crazy i mean i've just done y equals p dot y and y doesn't equal p dot y what It's amazing how, how I'm losing half an hour or, ah, sorry. It's amazing how I'm losing half an hour on this thing. 26, 26, okay. But then 26, 18, 26, 10, 26, 2. Why? How? Where? What's going on? 
what JavaScript is making fun of me. Maybe it's the... What if it's the animation? Maybe there's that behavior on why makes everything weird. I don't know. Yeah, it must be that. Must be that. Yes, it's the animation. Oh, come on. The animation is killing me. Okay, behavior on Y is indeed behavior on Y. So I should not change the Y. Then what if I do this? What if I do this? And then obviously not this. And then obviously this. Looks worse, but should work, right? At this point, any solution is a good solution for me. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, works. So yeah, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay, it works. However, this. When you, can I check when the system tray is using a grid? It always sounds weird when I say a grid because it sounds like I'm saying a grid is the English pronunciation correct? Agreed. System tree state. Item size. Visible, visible layout. Can I check whether we are using grids or not? Task grid. Grid thickness. Rows and columns. Don't we have a property that says like the number of rows or something let's see It's weird to have a property named rows on or columns, which is an integer. I would guess that it's rows or column size, but with this name, it looks like we are saying this is a Boolean value that saves if it's either rows or columns, but that's, that's, where is it, flow. I just want to know the number of rows or columns depending actually let's uh, sorry let me just close this uh, in here it's not this merge request it's not this merge request there was an open merge request that i'm pretty sure what was doing something similar uh, system tray hover nope so sorry i was no never mind uh, system tray hover 
merge request is one ignore the actual content of the merge request please I just want to give a look to the code because uh, if I remember correctly it was disabled when it's using grids so I should probably copy paste from that okay root dot one row on or column okay makes sense uh, it's parent in this case but same concept so let's go er and add to our if and we are not using grids we are losing uh, the current highlight when using a grid mod but I mean it's impossible to implement it correctly on grids so you need to give up something and in this case it's grids I don't like those Ouch. Oh, of course I'm not setting the coordinates anymore better but I mean it works we've seen it works so the last thing is to actually add the line inside of the dialog which should be simple hopefully <laughs> please nice it works this one is broken I mean this one poten potentially could be I mean come on no no let's not do this this one could be potential I mean why not let's do this and force highlight force edge highlight and it's going to be true here and false here this one is when you click on the whole system tray so I can say and root height this one or enforcing it meaning that it will not use the big highlight for the smaller icons but it will use it for the bigger one so like this but if I click on this one nice perfect now the line the line is in I'm trying to get, take a guess here plasmoid pop-ups container because we should have we don't nice we don't wrong file let's try again better guess let's actually use kfind again it's plasma core dot dialog okay it's main easier okay let me adjust the microphone okay in main we've got plasma core dot dialog and we need to draw the line here literally <laughs> we need to draw the line and uh, I needs to be inside the main item Uh, le yeah, let's put it here like this SVG item horrible horrible code that's actually needed more horrible code that's actually needed nice okay let's see if it works uh, 
I'm sorry if I just get back to the code uh, sometimes before compiling, but I just want to make sure that I didn't write anything dumb. Especially when I copy paste, I usually forgot to forget to change values. Okay. Ah, yes, I did write something dumb, which is that the dialog here is called dialog, which obviously should uh, replace pop up window. See, I did write something dumb. I just didn't look for enough time to actually notice. And now it should work. So we've finally made it. The new highlight is, uh, let, let me get to a uh, decent panel size because I can't use this like this. For, is it for, yes, it's 44 by default, like this. Oh, come on, why is it broken? It shouldn't be broken, come on. Works here, you've got the line and everything, and then it's broken. Why are you doing this to me? Seems like one row or column, what if I restart plasma shell? Maybe that variable doesn't get updated as should. Nope. Okay. Ah, yes, it's burnt. I even said that. I said, it's not root, it's burnt. And then I just didn't write it. Come on. I'm not even trying. <laughs> Hmm, still not working. Let's see. I didn't put enough console logs to actually find uh, this one I can actually remove at this point hello this is system tree speaking where is it here yes not here rather where is it here let's try again function and defined okay so parent one row or column is undefined which means that copy pasting code blindly doesn't actually work as well as I hoped oh look at here <laughs> look at here okay so uh, how am I, let's just add it. This will conflict with this merge request, but should be an easy one to actually, to actually, as it called, uh, rebase uh, or remove the conflict. So let's go here and add Okay, now it should work. Let's remove all of the bad code that I... Let's see... Nice! We've got our line and our 
other line best lines ever now we need to create the merge request let's go to plasma workspace actually let's do it from here get diff makes sense makes sense makes sense makes sense makes sense this makes sense this makes sense this makes sense this makes sense and that's it okay let's um get check out nikolov uh, work no sorry opposite work nikolov and better system tree highlight git checkout minus b git add this git commit okay uh, make system tree highlight extend to borders and draw a line between panel and open open applet git push origin work Nikolov uh, better system trial nice let's open it up we can actually close this close this companion Companion patch for this one. The system tray. Now come back. Come back. Companion patch four. Come on. No, I'm not creating a new issue. New merge request, please. Companion patch four. I was saying companion patch four system tray of this for system tray. Let's take a screenshot. Nice. And that should be it. Well, obviously, depends on that patch. Also, we need to update the other merge request. Let's move it here. This merge request needs to be updated. It should be easy. Uh, what did I change? Ooh, trailing, trailing spaces. Very bad. What file is this? Main Kumo. No, uh, that was accidental. Save, save. Okay, let's try again. Oh no. Why do I still see this? I didn't change. Okay, let's only commit this part. Hit add desktop package contents uplets commit use uh, no, no. Uh, better blah blah blah
didn't work. Git pull. Okay, this is weird. Git pull origin work Nicolau. Better active application indicator. Conflict. What happened? Maybe this was changed in the patch already and I didn't see it. Nice, no, not. Ah, it means that I screwed up <laughs> Git again. Hopefully this won't result in a mess. Okay, this time it worked. So let's see if it has been updated here. Come on, it did result in a mess. But hopefully squashing everything together will fix it. Anyway, solved. 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 Changes. Works, works, works. Okay. So we did it. That should be it. Maybe we'll be slightly changing the appearance, but code wise should be greedy and I don't think it will ch be changed much if it's changed at all. This looks working as is. Ah, yes, I forgot actually. Well, let's do this. This part should actually be have a bit less margin to the left and to the right. How do we do this? Okay, so let's start. Let's start here. So this is the line whereas I need this one and this one. So fact is that it's not that easy because what is it? my nice get margins function actually gives zero to the left and right margin obviously because it only makes sense to have margins to the top and to the bottom when you have an horizontal panel because the horizontal margin are given by the spacing between the height items so by reading this left margin property, I'm actually just reading zero. So let me see. Layout, top horizontal, bottom horizontal, right, okay. this and not fill area then this otherwise okay can i say no i want the margins anyway yes i can 
I can do I can do where is this file? This is plasma desktop, okay. I can do what are we going to call it? Return all margins. Which is false by default. Can I do that in JavaScript? JavaScript default parameter. Can I do that? Or is everything going to fall and burn? Yes, I can. Nice. Ah, would that would have been weird if I couldn't, but I mean technically having default values breaks overloading, so maybe some languages but like this this will ignore the fact that the layout the side of the layout is the wrong one so yeah and I now need to use this one here sorry here it's not a layout object container margins This way it will give me the margins for all sides regardless of whether I should actually have them or not. Uh, also here I'm still calling this one, sorry about that. Uh, of course search and replace wasn't working. Control R, control uh, R, sorry, is mapped to the simple screen recorder. So every time I try to do a control R to replace, it was messing up. How did I hide the toolbar of Kate? What did I do wrong? Oops. better and now okay let's try this this is plasma desktop stuff entirely no this plasma desktop plasma desktop okay so let's try plasma desktop Let's do this. So now you should have a wider highlight or a completely broken one, one of the two. Wider, nice. Even too wide, is it? Nice. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I bet people are going to complain that the line isn't touching the border but for now it's fine it's just fine what about here of course this one is left unchanged but this one works might even seem a bit too big uh, sorry this one uh, blah 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 sorry I think it's fine. 
yeah, it looks fine. Very fine, okay. So we can actually push this already. Yes, just a second. Am I doing everything correctly? I still have those, but whoops. I need to uh, add uh, compact uh, desktop package and I mean, come on, when the applet moves, where is it? When the when the applet there's no trailing space maybe ah because i removed trailing ah because it automatically removed all tracing spaces so it's for the best okay so let's add these two files Okay, now we should probably do the same for the system in tree one. So here, I'm doing this. And uh, let me think, I might as well do this. Okay, forget for a second that this switch doesn't make any sense at all because I'm just looking to see if it works. <laughs> That's the point right now. Let's see if this one works. It might not work because it picks sources a lot. So let's see. like this I forgot to open up the system tree folder for faster building but never mind let's see if it's too wide as a highlight or if it's just fine. Okay. Hi, <laughs> it gets wider. Very funny. Very funny. Okay, but let's fix that because I'm using the plus, shouldn't use pluses. Okay, 
Oh, I forgot again to change the Dirac Shoy. Never mind. Okay, so it is wide. Is it too wide? Maybe. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. This is fine. And of course, we don't need the switch at all anymore. Much better. Blah, 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 blah. Nice. Let's push it. Just like this, everything should be ready and done. Nice. So let's consider today a productive day and let's just wait for review for these two patches. I think it looks much better than before. Nice. <laughs>